Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and today we're gonna to be working on my TBR-a-thon TBR. If you guys have not heard of TBR-a-thon, please, please, please go and check out the announcement video over on Leandra's channel. I've linked it in the description down below. It is a month-long readathon, the month of January, that focuses on your TBR, and you can kind of uh, manipulate it to what you would like to focus on as far as your TBR goes, whether or not that just be books that you would like to read, physical TBR books, uh, things like that. So if you would like to participate, please watch that video and follow along with me. If you have watched that TBR announcement or you just know about TBR-a-thon, you know that Leandra has set up several avenues for us to create our TBRs this month. And so I am going to be doing the To Be Rolled uh, board game, which I will put up on the screen in just a minute. Uh, Leandra in the, the announcement video has a Google Drives link that you guys can go to and get all of the worksheets and things that she created for the TBR, uh, for TBR-a-thon. So if you guys are interested, once again, check out that link in the description. So I will be uh, using the board game for the entire month of January. However, I do not have a large physical TBR and I need to plan my TBRs out in advance. So I'm going to go ahead and play the game in its entirety right now. And uh, then I'm going to form my TBR so I can make sure I collect all those books by the beginning of January and start reading. I know that like some people do TBR games that way where they play the game in its entirety, but then some people also play it like as they go throughout the month. So I'm just letting you know, I'm playing it in its entirety right now uh, to get my TBR. I will probably throughout the month also throw in some other things uh, from TBR-a-thon. I know that there's a bingo board that I uh, will look at and then there's also this or that and so I, I think that I will probably try and add in some other elements for, for TBR-a-thon but my main goal will be to get through the board game. So I will put the board game over on the, the side and I'm just going to be rolling a digital die. Um, and so we're going to start at the start here and I'm gonna be looking down and keeping track. I have the board game <laughs> in front of me as well. So our first roll is a two. And so that says at least two people on the cover. I'm also gonna go through <laughs> all of the, the game board first and then after I go through the, the entire game board, I'll talk about what books I'm going to make because I think I'm gonna have to think about it. I don't know a book off the top of my head that has at least two people on the cover, so let's keep going. And that option actually, <laughs> I, I need to I need to decide what path I'm going to go down. So we'll see. Let's see what the next roll is. Oh, I got another two. <laughs> so I can either do a five star prediction or I can do a spooky read. Ooh, I like both of those options. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with a five star prediction. Okay, next roll. I got a five. That's it, features an animal. My next roll is a four, which I got roll again <laughs> and go back that many spaces. So I'm gonna roll again. I got a four, so that puts me back at features and animal. Um, I'm gonna put times two on that block and we'll see if I can get two books that feature an animal. My next roll is a one, which is something cozy. So far I've gotten lucky. I think I have books for all of these, we'll see. Next is another two. Most recent publication date. Ooh. Another two, man, two is my number. And I can either go a sci-fi or a mysterious plot. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go sci-fi. We'll see what happens now. Another two, I swear I'm not rigging this. <laughs> a child protagonist. I think that one's gonna be hard for me. Maybe we'll have to introduce some middle grades. Oh my goodness, another two. And that is a cli-fi. And then I think this last one, unless we get a one, should be my last roll. Another two. <laughs> and that is the finish. 
So I will get back with you guys with all of my uh, picks in just a minute. Okay, so I think I have all of the TBR planned <laughs> out and I have access to all but maybe a couple. So the first book for the first role, at least two people on, people on the cover, I am going to choose uh, the Blighted Stars, which I'll put a picture of it right here, and I'm going to read you guys part of the synopsis. Um, this says, she's a revolutionary, humanity is running out of options, habitable planets are being destroyed as quickly as they're found, and Naria Sharp thinks that she knows the reason why. The all-powerful Mercator family has been controlling the exploration of the universe for decades and exploiting the materials they find along the way. Um under the guise of helping humanity's expansion, but Narya knows the truth and she plans to bring the whole family down from the inside. The like heading says it's she's stranded on a dead planet with her mortal enemy, a spy must survive and uncover a conspiracy in the first uh, book of an epic space opera trilogy. I'm wanting to dive into sci-fi a little bit more this year and so I think that this will be a fun start. The next role was a five-star prediction. I'm going to hopefully read the retirement or the remarkable retirement of Edna Fisher uh, for this. Editing me here. Uh, so I figured out that the retirement of Edna Fisher or the remarkable retirement of Edna Fisher I'm probably not going to get in the month of January and so if I don't get that book in the month of January I will be reading the third book in the memoirs of Lady Trent which is called The Voyage of the Basilisks. <laughs> so that will be the the book I will be reading for this prompt if the remarkable retirement of Edna Fisher does not come in on time. Next, I needed two books that were featuring an animal. And the first, I don't know if this is a cheat or not. <laughs> I'm going to pick Timeless. This is the last book that I have in the Parasol Protectorate series. And uh, this book features werewolves. And so I'm including that as an animal. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't count. Um, I, I'm trying to think if there was an animal companion, not like a major animal companion, definitely in, in the series, but um, so I, yeah, I, I picked this one thinking that I could cheat a little bit and say that werewolves are technically animals. <laughs> um, so this is a steampunk, uh, Victorian era book series that features Alexia Terabody and Alexia is a preternatural who essentially there are a whole bunch of supernatural beings in this Victorian era, uh, novel and, there are, so there are ghosts, there are vampires, there are werewolves, and society has accepted them. She is one who, if she touches a supernatural, their supernaturalness goes away. So if she touches a vampire, they become a human. If she touches a werewolf, they can't change. If she touches a ghost, she exercises them, things like that. And uh, she also is dealing with the social norms uh, that she does not really fit into. She's 26 years old, she's not married, doesn't want to be married, and kind of has to to, she gets herself into some situations that uh, are not ladylike. And I just absolutely love the series. I can't wait to finish it. The next book, because I wanted two featuring an animal, um, is Chilling Effect. And I'm just going to read you like the little blurb on the front cover of this. It says, kidnappers, alien emperors, psych psychic cats, and she's all out of coffee. <laughs> and it's, it has like the, the image you guys can see. She's in space with her cats floating. So it definitely features animals. Uh, I'm excited about this. I haven't, I, I, I can't remember where I got this recommendation from. I think someone was talking about covers that they loved and this whole series has just fantastic covers. And so I can't wait to see what all the hubbub is about. I, uh, cats in space, what else can I ask for? Rule number five was something cozy, and for this I'm going to choose Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands, which is Emily Wilde's number two that comes out in January. I pre-ordered this, and so this should be getting delivered to my house sometime in mid-January, and I can't wait. If you haven't heard of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, you follow Emily Wilde, who is uh, a studier of fairies, and she travels to this kind of off-the-beaten-path place that has some fairies that have never been studied before and she ends up getting herself into some trouble with the people who live there along with the fae who are there as well. It's really cozy, it has a little bit of a romance in it as well and you also have to 
to get used to, or Emily has to get used to interacting with people. Uh, she doesn't really like people. And one of the other characters that she interacts with is very charismatic. And so you get kind of this dynamic between the two uh, that's really fun to see. For role number six, um, this was the most recent publication date. This will probably be Emily Wilde's uh, Map of the Otherlands, but I'm not sure if I can count one book for two prompts. And so if not, I think the next most recent publication date will be The Griffin's Egg for me, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get my hands on that in the month of January, so we'll just have to see. Currently, my plan is if Emily Wilde's counts twice, I will just count that for both prompts um, because I do, I will own that, and so I won't have to worry about getting a copy from the library, but if not, The Griffin's Egg is my second pick. Prompt number seven was sci-fi, and I'm gonna pick Capture the Sun for this. Uh, this is a TBR full of sci-fi, apparently. <laughs> so I will be buddy reading uh, Capture the Sun with Leandra at the very beginning of the month. This is the third book in the Starlight's Shadow series, I think is what it was called. It is a sci-fi or a um, space opera series that is that features romance in every single book, and you follow the characters on a ship of a female bounty hunter. So the first book, Hunt the Stars, follows the romance between the captain uh, and a Vavlovian, who is uh, this other race of people that they interact with. I've talked about this series a lot on this channel. It's very, very fun. If you like sci-fi and you like romance, this is like the perfect pairing. The eighth prompt was a child protagonist, so I did pick a middle grade for this. I chose The Hatmakers, which is a recommendation from Leandra, and I'm just going to read you guys the short little synopsis. It says, when Cordelia Hatmaker's beloved father fails to return from an ingredient hunting expedition, Cordelia is the only member of the family who knows in her heart that he can't be gone for good. Her grief-stricken aunt and uncle forge ahead to continue the work of their guild and fulfill a crucial order from the king. Um... And it says, but the enchant the enchantments woven into the carefully crafted goods of the hat maker, boot maker, cloak maker, sorry, cloak maker, watch maker, and glove maker guilds begin causing sudden inducements of rage and chaos as war looms and peace objects backfire. Cordelia must find out who's using the maker's creations for dark purposes and uncover the truth about her father's disappearance. I think it sounds really cute, uh, and. I am assuming Cordelia is a child, <laughs> and so I think it fits the prompt perfect. And prompt number nine, this is the perfect prompt to end to be rolled Leandra's TBR-a-thon, because it is a cli-fi, which we all know Leandra enjoys. I will be reading the Book of Coley for this prompt. Me again. So uh, I also... <laughs> DNF the Book of Coley uh, the last day of December, and so I wanted to pick a different cli-fi for this pick. Um, so I have decided to go with either the Overstory or Appleseed. Uh, both of these are recommendations from Leandra, and I'm not going to talk about their synopsises here, but because uh, I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet, but one of those two will be picked instead of the Book of Coley for my cli-fi pick. So that is my TBR for the month of January for TBR-a-thon. Like I said, I will be adding other things to this TBR uh, to supplement some of the other worksheets that Leandra has made for this readathon. If you guys want to participate, please, please, please go and check out that announcement video in the description box. I know that Leandra would love to have you guys play along with us throughout the month. There will be a ton of sprints over on her channel as well as uh, other channels around the booktube community. I am one of them. I don't have that date yet. I will let you guys know as soon as I do. Um, but there will be time for you guys to participate and talk with us through your TBR, TBR -a thon experiences as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.